Alright folks, I am going to show you how to load up the R005 patch file using McBoot. Um, it's extremely easy to use. Um, hopefully at this point you already have the file on your USB drive and that USB drive is in one of your USB ports. Um, and also your memory card with McBoot on there is in the second slot uh, on your PlayStation 2 and obviously your original memory cards in the first slot. So after that's all done, uh, turn on your PS2 with the tray open um, or the, the door open on the slim PS2 uh, or there's no game in there so it loads this up. So as soon as you get to this screen, uh, the thing we're going to need to do is go down to you launch Elf, press X. It's going to open up this, um, this launch screen. So it's going to give you three options, file browser, uh, about, ULE, and configure. Um, all you're going to need to use the file browser. So in most cases, it's going to be the O button. So you press O to launch that. Go down to where it says mass, and this is going to be where your USB is going to show up. So hit circle on that. And then you're going to want to scroll down to where it says R005V047.ELF. Uh, press uh, circle on that as well. So after you hit circle or X, depending on whatever uh, version you have, your screen's either going to go, um, it's going to show you what's on the actual uh, ELF file, or it's going to go completely blank. Uh, if it shows what's on the file, you hit X to start your game. If it goes blank, which it's going to do for mine because I have the HDMI adapter, all I do is hit X and it loads. So you'll see that here right now. So it loads up like normal. Just give it a bit. All right, so load up from your memory card slot one. And I'm just gonna hit no on this for now just to get to the menu. Game loads up like normal. Alright, so go to player name. This is where you're going to want to put in um, your clan tag if you want to do that. So, uh, bracket, whatever clan name you want to do. And then no space, you put in your name. And then connect. Save it so that you have to do that every time. And then load up. So we see our only uh, room that's on right now in x -Link. but let's make a room, and I'll show you how to make a patch room for you and whoever else is playing with it as the patch. So create the name, um, generally call out what it is. This is the important piece. You have to make sure you put a password in there, and the first digit always has to be the exclamation point. So exclamation point, in this case, I'm just going to go to three, four. Like I said, there's a password there. That password's going to keep out anyone that doesn't have the patch. If they join this room, none of this is going to work for us. We can't uh, see the day maps. Um, it's just it won't work properly. So uh, that password keeps it out. The advantage of that password, though, with anyone else that does have the patch, is as soon as they hit X on that patch room, it takes them right in. They don't even need to know what the password is. It'll just start right up. So um, that's, that's awesome. As you can see, it's got the clan tag. It's got the... Uh, rank for you as well too uh, that's all there so hopefully this was very easy uh, for you to see and to do if you have any questions hit me up on Facebook or on X-Link um, you guys know my name um, and uh, I'll see you
see you when I see you.